the nigga you see before you who look like they just spawned into GTA Online, fresh out of the character customization. He our main character, and we're going to keep an eye on him. Yo, it's Don. Tell you love I said. What's up? Let's get into this video. Oh, my brother Justin uses free guest passes with my membership. This nigga acting like he he just did a damn drug deal or some shit. I don't go to work out. No. Everyone knows that, so just to get the free stuff. The gym is awesome. Every time I go to the gym, uh, I use the towels, take some clean ones, drop off the dirty ones. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, you can't beat it. It's hard for me to believe that all that bullshit you call yourself doing is is worth saving 12 pennies. You gotta return them. I don't steal, <laughs> you know. I consider it borrowing for the most part. That's what I would consider it borrowing. Yep. It's not borrowing, my boy. That's motherfucking thievery. The tiles meant to stay inside the facility. If they leave out, you fucking stole that shit, my nigga. That's like me stealing a Magnum condom from out of the fucking corner store. Fucking a bitch, busting a nut in that motherfucker, tying it back up, putting it back in the package, and then bringing it back, handing it to the motherfucking clerk and said, "Hey man, I didn't steal it. I gave it back, man. I just borrowed it." What? What do you? What do you mean? I'm under arrest? What the fuck is going on? I use the gym shower when I go in here. I do my laundry which is also an excellent perk by the gym. This is 100 million times better than a washing machine. It's more effective you get the hands in there. Because the washing machine only gets so much. You yourself can get in there like the old days, you see? <laughs> Yo said, like the old days. <laughs> what old days, nigga? What old, you ain't never do that. You made that shit up. You ain't a, it, bullshit. Bullshit, you, you came home from school in the old days and grabbed your clothes, went in the shower, and started scrubbing. Yeah, right. But anyway, bullshit. Um, I'm calling your motherfucking bluff. Your fucking hands don't fucking clean clothes better than a wash machine can. If I put my wash machine on now, put that shit on high, put some detergent in that motherfucker, some beads to make it smell nice, I can put all my laundry in there at once, and it'll clean every single thing. And you mean to tell me your hands... Cleaning each article of clothing one by one with that weak ass pump of gym soap, right? Your dick all out and shit, swinging back and motherfucking forth, can clean better than a wash machine. Yeah, right. Come on, niggas just lie. Niggas lie. Niggas be trying to act hard and shit. <laughs> niggas, niggas try to act hard. <laughs> Fucking cameras on him and shit. He act like he could clean. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga, bro, fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Perfect. It's just ridiculous how people, the ways people don't know how they can save money. Nah, it doesn't make any sense to do laundry at home. <laughs> but you can do it here for free. I've unplugged the washing machine and dryer a long time ago. I saved my family about $7,500 a month, around that. $7,500 a month. $7,500 a month. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit, bro. Come on now. And you got hand sanitizer everywhere, the hospitals, schools, anywhere you go, I just walk in there and get some free hand sanitizer. I'm going to buy soap for us. Ridiculous. You mean to tell me, right? This nigga says schools. My old school didn't even let a nigga in if he ain't have an ID, even if he had the uniform on. But they gonna let this duffel bag carry your motherfucker inside the school, 40 years old, with your hand sanitizer at all that bullshit kids running around. They don't know who the fuck he is. This nigga lying, yo. This nigga addicted to lying. Yeah, right. <laughs> the hand sanitizer is for members, but he's not even a member. Every time I go to the gym, I try to not use the hand sanitizer to make up for him. You a kind guy, man, but that shit don't make no bit of sense. You know what I mean? Like, you're not cutting back on nothing. If that nigga, you know, getting a whole bottle's worth, you might as well just clean your hands and call it a day. If you really want to cut back, you better go to him and tell him to chill the hell out. Justin takes advantage of his brother's guest pass privilege. That nigga behind the desk didn't give a fuck. I became conscious about saving money a couple years back after my mom cut me off my allowance. 
Yo, how old is you, nigga? <laughs> Yo got cut off his allowance a couple years ago. This nigga look like he like 40. I need toothpaste, tissue, and a towel. OK. <laughs> My brother, he thinks he's saving his money by taking everything in the house, locking it away, then we have to take poker chips and exchange it for goods. We don't waste anything, right? And this is how we keep track of it. It's the perfect way to do it. I can't see no better way. This when he start taking it too far, when he start involving other niggas in the household and making them go along with it. Every month, Justin gives us 45 chips for the month. And so everything that we need, we have to choose wisely. You know, toothpaste, go ahead and get a quarter size glob, it's one chip. That's it. That should last you at least three days right there. <laughs> One chip, mouthwash. You know, it is what it is. If you use this right, it shouldn't have a problem. After those 45 chips are gone, they're gone. Yo, this nigga just making shit up as he go along. He made this list without, without any premeditation. Toilet paper, toothpaste, corn chips. One particular month, I needed Q-tips, and he would not give them to me because I didn't have enough chips left. Authority can only exist if you allow it. Past that point, you just letting him do the shit. Because, I mean, what's stopping you from fucking going to the store and just buying shit and not using his system? You know, especially when you is the one giving him the allowance. You the one paying the bills. You the one who... And you and you you spending chips on this nigga? Fuck out of here. You, every time you need to wipe your ass, you... Yeah, right, come on. Oh, the system's working pretty good. I mean, my mom and my brother really not, really not uh, feeling it too much, but, um... I think the system that Justin has is a cost savings, but it's actually a nuisance. I know this nigga beard stink. Shit probably humming. I know it is. Because how the fuck he clean that shit off? He can't take that in the gym. So that shit dirty. You know it is. You, come on, you know it is. And the top? Yeah, oh, the top. I hate going to him and asking him to use some. You with a poker chip. I hate it. I do not care what my brother and mother think about the chip system or anything. It's, it's helping us out a lot. Not only are the household goods on lockdown, the water's on lockdown also. Oh. Every other day, I come fill up the water bottles at the nearby park, fill up the water we use for the house. I mean, we pay city taxes, so why not get water from the city park? You know, I mean, <laughs> what, what more sense does it make? <laughs> I'd rather drink warm Dasani trickled down the side of a nigga ball sack than fucking drink from your bottles of water. Dirty ass nails. You know this nigga dirty. Justin will go in zero degree weather and go fetch water from the park. If it's not frozen, he, he'd come back and melt it probably. Getting water from the park actually does save us a lot of money on water bills. Whether they believe it or not, they think it's kind of crazy, but not me. Saves us great money. How much you want to bet this nigga don't pay one bill? The average water bill for a three-person household in Detroit is around $75 a month. By using water from the nearby park, Justin's family pays less than half that. Justin removed all the shower heads, duct taped all the water faucets in the house, so we have to use water bottles. We don't use that. This wastes way too much money. This is the most effective way to do this right here. Got the soapy water, you got your rinsey water. Justin's bottled water system is a joke. Justin has made uh, bottles of water and put a little sanitizer in the water bottles. Ass ass and more ass. I know you smell it when he walked past. I bet that nigga smell like shit, like like a like a fucking bus seat. You know what I mean? Like like he only use a couple pieces of toilet paper when he wipe his ass. I know it. I just know he fucking dirty. I know he is, man. But if I live with that nigga, I wouldn't do shit. Like these, it's always the niggas with no job trying to tell you how to save money. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't do shit. These niggas gone along with it, playing his little game and shit. I would untape the shit, take my shower, fuck him. What the hell? He don't even pay the damn bills. This nigga don't even got a job. I'm buying soap. I'm washing up with it. Fuck you. This does not work. The soap substitutes do not work very well. The first water station that we have is the kitchen. Obviously, you put soap water on the dishes, you rinse it off with the rinse water. Simple. Go to the bathroom, you have the same thing. Soapy water. Rinse water. It's like, it's not enough water to rinse anything, you know? You have to be very careful which water to use, because you don't want to use the soapy water to rinse your mouth. It's just it's not a good idea. Man, fuck this cheap-ass nigga. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, 
join the friend group, man. We all having fun, man. Talk to me in the comments. Let me get to know y'all niggas, man. We chilling over here, man. You know? Uh, but yeah, it's like two in the motherfucking morning. I'm about to go to sleep. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.